Hello, welcome to my channel. Remote desktop software maker AnyDesk disclosed on Friday that it suffered a cyber attack that led to a compromise of its production systems. I am Bill Solinsky, a certified information system security professional with 30 years of experience. The German company said the incident, which it discovered following a security audit, is not a ransomware attack and that it has not notified relevant authorities. The company made a statement that they have revoked all security related certificates and systems have been remediated or replaced where necessary. They also will be revoking the previous code signing certificate for, our, for their binaries shortly and have already started replacing them with new ones. Out of an abundance of caution, AnyDesk has also revoked all passwords to its web portal my.anydesk.com and it's urging users to change their passwords if they have been used on other online services. It is also recommended that users download the latest version of their software, which comes with a new code signing certificate. AnyDesk did not disclose when and how its production systems were breached. It is currently not known if any information was stolen following the hack. However, it emphasized there is no evidence that any end user systems have been affected. Since then, cybersecurity firm ReSecurity said it found two threat actors advertising a significant number of AnyDesk customer credentials for sale at xpoint.in, noting it could be used for technical support scams and phishing. The threat actor has been found offering 18,317 accounts for 15,000 in cryptocurrency. Notably, the timestamps visible on the shared screenshots by the actor illustrate successful unauthorized access dated February 3rd, 2024, post-incident disclosure. It is possible that not all customers have changed their access credentials or the breach is still ongoing. It's not clear how the credentials were obtained, but ReSecurity said cyber criminals could be rushing to monetize available customer credentials in light of the fact the passwords could be reset. That's all for this presentation. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.